All right, guys, we're kicking this week's vlog off strong. I am at the P.O. Box. I've gotten delivery confirmation that our box of fun is here. And uh, we're going to go inside and see if uh, the UPS tracking services are correct. And uh, if we finally got our box of fun so we can bust it open and see what Freddy goodness we have to add to our collection. So... Here we go. All right, guys, so we ended up getting a lot of boxes today, which is pretty typical for Mondays, but we finally got it. Here we go, team four, the Killer Crowns, finally got our box of fun. So now we're gonna head home, bust this open, and I cannot wait to see what Freddy's lie inside. Hopefully a Darth Maul, maybe a Danny Phantom, maybe a Spider-Man, who knows? We're gonna find out in just a little bit. All right, guys, so that was pretty crazy. We ended up pulling not one, but two Freddy Funko as Darth Maul in our unboxing video. If you guys obviously didn't see it, go check it out to see all of the other Freddies that we pulled. And uh, I'm sure we will have announced it by now, but um, of course we will be giving away one of our Freddy Funko as Darth Mauls in celebration of us hitting 10 thousand subscribers so one i will keep for my collection and one will go off to another lucky collector so now moving into the collection room we got alex i heard uh some more people want to see alex pop up in more videos so here he is how's it going alex how's life just hanging out just shedding yeah i know i know and uh, of course we had our auction the other night. So Joanna is in here working away, packing all the boxes, which we luckily have quite a few of them already packed and ready to ship out. We have a few left that we need to get out. And uh, I'm gonna actually leave here in a couple minutes to go drop them off at the post office. Didn't schedule pickup today just because Joanna had some stuff that she had to do around town. So that's why we didn't have the pickup sometimes we do it sometimes we don't um if we do schedule the pickup then we have to wait for the mailman to come because if he rings the doorbell and you're not here he will of course run away so all right we're gonna get back to work and finish packing all the boxes like i said we got a few bundles here up on the shelf that we need to get out of here and then i have to go back over to the post office and uh grab the incoming boxes all right, we are dropping off the boxes now. Just once again, wanna say thank you to everybody who comes out and supports our auctions and your boxes will be in your possession very shortly. All right guys, so I just got home from dropping off the boxes and we have another nice little box that just showed up full of what we think is brand new sodas from our distributor. So we're gonna crack these puppies open and uh, I'm sure by now we've dropped the video. So if you guys wanna go check out our first look video, on what we think is some brand new sodas uh definitely go check it out all right guys so we're back at the p.o box we got the notification that several large packages have arrived which we can only assume is the next portion of the giant collection that we have purchased so that's very exciting we're gonna go inside pick those up i do have the jeep today thankfully uh so nice driving the jeep i, I love joanna's car but the Jeep is my baby. So got the Jeep. We're going to be going inside, probably filling up this whole space with all the boxes. And uh, then we get to go uh, back home and bust them all open. By the way, this morning we actually hit 10,000 subscribers right here on the channel. So thank you guys so much. Joanna and I could not be more thankful for everyone's support. So anyway, we got to get back to work. We got to hit some more milestones. We will be celebrating 10K at some point in the near future, but uh, let's go get some boxes. All right, guys. So just like we predicted, we have three large boxes from this collection. We also got some smaller boxes. Um, looks like one of our Funko Shop SDCC orders just came in. And we also got a letter from uh, a fan of the channel. So hopefully there's a sticker in there that we can use for our community Stanley Cup. So so everything fits and uh, let's head on home. All right guys, so really quick, we just did our first look video yesterday if you guys didn't get a chance to check that out. And then last night, we actually did a little bonus soda auction. So we gave away a bunch of sodas here. So thank you to everybody who came out to the auction and then check this out guys. These are all the sodas 
that we sold. So we're gonna be packing those up today. We also sold a couple mystery minis, but I think a majority of you guys are here to get the collection preview. And uh, this is everything that we are gonna be inventorying in the next little bit and then showing off to you guys one by one. So stay tuned in a couple seconds, you'll see what is in wave number one. All right, guys, so now we're gonna jump into wave number one of this $4,000 collection that just came in. And we're starting off with some awesome Marvel Pops. So let's break it down. All right, starting out, we have the Thor from Avengers Age of Ultron. Then we have the comic book Captain Marvel. The glow in the dark, Captain Marvel from her movie. The only thing that glows in the dark is the Tesseract that is in the little box she's holding. Then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Anti-Venom, Venomized Storm, Black Widow from Avengers Endgame, Venomized Hulk, which is really cool. A lot of detail on there. I understand why a lot of people collect the Venomized Marvel line. Then we have a glow in the dark Target exclusive Flying Captain Marvel. Then we have the Unmasked Glow in the Dark Marvel Collector Core Captain Marvel. The Gold Chrome Doctor Strange, which was the fan vote winner. Uh, Funko and Marvel did this team up where they actually let fans vote for the next character to make in gold chrome form. And the winner ended up being Doctor Strange. Then we have the Marvel Collector Core Doctor Strange. I believe that's the... I can't remember if it's like floating projection or whatever it's called, but he is actually floating in the box, which is pretty cool. Then we have the Target exclusive Mystique, Hot Topic exclusive Carnage, Hot Topic exclusive Rogue. Over here, we have a pair of really cool ones from the original Guardians of the Galaxy Wave from 2015. We have Mass Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon. And I think these two are very undervalued. And I have a feeling this is going to be the last time that we see Star-Lord, Chris Pratt's character in the MCU, coming up in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So this original print run right here might be a good one to grab. All right, then we have the glow-in-the-dark Goose Flurkin, where it's uh, getting ready to consume the Tesseract. Once again, that's what glows in the dark. Then we have Black Widow from Civil War. Snowsuit Black Widow from her movie, which surprisingly has a decent amount of value. I did not realize she was where she's currently at. Then we have the comic book Doctor Strange. Then we have Jane and uh, the Mighty Thor here from Secret Wars from the Marvel Collector Core box back in 2015. Of course, we just saw Natalie Portman as the Mighty Thor in Thor Love and Thunder. Then we have the Marvel Collector Core Holiday Thor where he actually has his hammer, but it's all wrapped up like a present, which is really cute. Then we have Thor from Avengers Endgame where he's actually holding Stormbreaker instead of Mjolnir. Then we have Hela from Thor Ragnarok, another really cool pop. Unfortunately, a lot of her detail in box is kind of covered up by the fact that her, her horns here on her helmet kind of protrude into a lot of the window area. So definitely a great out of box contender if you're a hardcore Marvel fan. And then we have a pair of Black Panther pops. We have Black Panther from Civil War and then the Marvel Collector Core glow in the dark Black Panther from the first Black Panther movie. If you guys don't know, or this is your first time watching one of our videos or coming over to our auctions, so we do not sell any Black Panther pops for profit out of respect to Chadwick Boseman and honoring his character. So these two pops will be going up Monday night for charity. I still have to get with Joanna to figure out which charity we've chosen for August. If you guys have any charity suggestions, please drop them in the comments section down below or just message us directly. Um, we do donate to a charity every single month through the channel. It's very important to us. And we've actually had a lot of people reach out and recommend charities that we did end up using. So please feel free to reach out and give us some suggestions. All right, then we have the Emerald City Comic Con shared convention exclusive comic book Thor. I love this one. Goes great with the soda, and it's actually the same mold that they just used for the Freddy Funko Thor that we just got. And then this is one of the heavy hitters from the collection we just got in, the Emerald City Comic Con She-Hulk Lawyer. This is an awesome pop. We are getting the She-Hulk series at the end of August, and... Uh, she has been creeping up in value quite a bit. So I have a feeling that one won't be lasting very long in our possession. Then we have the common She-Hulk, Lady Siv from the original Thor movie. Now this is a great pop. This is the only one that they've made of Lady Siv from 2014. So if you don't have her in your collection, that's the only way you can get her. 
And then finishing off our Marvel round here, we have Dark Phoenix from the X-Men. So lots of great characters from the Marvel Universe, both comic and cinematic. But now we're going to jump into wave number two. So for this next round of pops, we actually have a few sets of some very unique lines that you don't see every day. And we're kicking it off with Sailor Moon. And right here we have Sailor Jupiter, Tuxedo Mask, Sailor Moon with Moonstick and Luna. Then we have Sailor Venus with Artemis, Sailor Mars, and then Sailor Moon with Luna, it's a different one, and then Sailor Mercury. And Joanna is a massive Sailor Moon fan, and she actually needed this one for her collection, so she's very excited. That one will be staying with us. All right, moving over here, we have some Teletubby Pops. We have the Funko Shop exclusive Dipsy, Lala, then we have Poe, and Tinky Winky. Surprisingly, some of these have a little bit of value, which is pretty interesting. All right, now moving into a very unique set, we have the original run of Futurama Pops, starting it off with Zap Brannigan, Zoidberg, Leela, Fry, Bender, Robot Devil, Professor Farnsworth, and Nibbler. So obviously those pops have gone up a little bit, and uh, we don't expect that collection to be around. Hopefully somebody gets most of the set or all the set because it's just pretty cool to see all together. Now another set that we got was the Adventure Time set and we're gonna be kicking that one off with the Hot Topic exclusive Bimo Noir, Flame Princess, Cake, Lemon Grab, the original Bimo, then we have the Ice King, Princess Bubblegum, Marceline, and then coming up here, we have Jake. This is Marceline with the banjo or guitar. I'm not sure which one that is. And then we have Fiona, Finn, and the Lich. Now, these are some very old pops. I mean, they got that classic Funko look, mostly from 2015. And uh, like I said, hopefully somebody can grab most, if not all, of each one of those sets for their collection. Uh, we do not collect Adventure Time or Futurama or Teletubbies for that matter. So hopefully these go off to a good home. But now let's jump into wave number three. Oh, and by the way, guys, before we jump into the next wave of pops, if you guys have not downloaded the WhatNot app, you can actually use our link down below to download the app on your phone or your laptop, and you can save $10 on your first purchase, which will actually get you pretty much very close to a free Funko Pop or even a free Funko Soda. All right, let's get back to the next wave. So now moving into wave number three, we have some random pops and then we have a whole lot of Power Rangers. So we're going to kick it off with a really unique set right here, guys. We have Puss in Boots, Shrek, and Donkey. And we've actually never seen these pops before in person. So to get all three in at the same time is very cool and very unique. All right, then up next, we have a pair of McDonald's pops. We have Ronald McDonald and Mayor McCheese from the Ad Icons line. Then from DC, I have Batman in the Dawnbreaker suit, which was a Hot Top exclusive and part of the really cool 80 year anniversary line. Then we have the Superman soldier from Batman vs Superman back in 2016. Then we have the Diamond Edition Carmen Sandiego from Emerald City Comic Con 2019. Then we have She-Ra from the Retro Toys line. Homelander from The Boys, as well as a pair of Starlights from The Boys, which is good because a lot of people have been asking us about The Boys Pops. Then we have an Elvis 68 Comeback Special Pop. And then we have one random Star Wars Pop, and it happens to be the Rebels Darth Maul, which was a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. And this one was actually the mold that they just made the Freddy Darth Maul off of. So really cool to get this pop in once again. Now moving into the Power Rangers section, and we have a lot of Power Rangers from the Mighty Morphin line, starting out with Alpha 5, which was a Walmart exclusive, the Metallic GameStop exclusive, Blue Ranger, and then right next to it, we have the common Blue Ranger. I don't know about you guys, but I love the metallic finish on some of these Power Ranger pops, specifically the blue one. I think that one's awesome. All right, then we have the Black Ranger, up here we have the very cool White Ranger with his sword. Very cool to see that one. I know that one has 
a decent amount of value. Then we have the Pink Ranger, the Hot Topic exclusive Metallic Pink Ranger. Then we have the Morphin exclusive GameStop Pink Ranger, where she's kind of like a glittery translucent. Then we have the Yellow Ranger, and right next to the Metallic GameStop exclusive Yellow Ranger. Then the Red Ranger, right next to its corresponding Metallic Hot Topic exclusive Red Ranger. Then we're gonna move into the Power Ranger movie line of pops. We have Rita Repulsa, along with Goldar, Lord Draken, Lord Zed, and then we have the Pink Ranger as well as the Red Ranger. So lots of cool pops, especially if you're a Power Ranger fan. I particularly love that Darth Maul. That's one of my favorite Star Wars pops and hands down my favorite Darth Maul. Um, although I do like the hooded one as well. It's 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 up there. It's still a great one. And that Shrek line is, is pretty unique, but let's see what's waiting for us in the next wave. All right, so for this wave, we have a mixture of a little bit of Disney pops. And then for all of our anime viewers, you're in for a special treat because we have a lot of anime pops to show off for you guys. So coming on down here, we have some pops from the Disney 65th anniversary line. We have the Matterhorn bobsled Mickey, Matterhorn bobsled Donald, and oh, what looks like we also have another Matterhorn bobsled Mickey. Then we have the Kevin Remix pop. This was from San Diego Comic-Con 2020. Then we have the Diamond Edition Hot Top exclusive Minnie Mouse. Then we have Mufasa, and that does it for our Disney pops. All right, now moving into some Naruto pops, we have Sunsaid, Itachi, Naruto Uzumaki, Naruto Six Path. This one does glow in the dark. It was a Hot Topic exclusive. Then we have the Naruto Common, Naruto Rasengan. I'm so sorry if I say any of these names wrong, guys. You know I'm not uh, huge on anime. We're trying to learn, though. We are trying to learn. Then we have Hot Topic exclusive Rock Lee. Then we have the Sage Mode Naruto and the GameStop exclusive here. We were pretty shocked at its current value. So hopefully somebody's able to grab that one for their collection. Then we have the Sexy Jutsu. And this is a box lunch exclusive. Then we have the Lightning Blade Kakashi, which was a GameStop exclusive. Orochimaru. Then we have Toby. Sakura, Kakashi, Sasuke, and now we're moving into some Saint Seiya pops, which are very detailed and pretty unique. We have Cygnus Hoiga, Phoenix Iki, which is a glow in the dark Barnes and Noble exclusive, Pegasus Seiya, Andromeda Shun, Sag Sagittarius Seiya, Dragon Shuru. And then coming up here, we have one pop from Boruto, which is Naruto. And it's pretty cool. He's got that cape. It is a anime exclusive. And then we have one pop from Inuasha, and that is the Hot Topic exclusive Evil Inuasha. So some really cool pops. Funko definitely does a good job on the anime pops. And once again, I apologize for mispronouncing any names. I'm sure I butchered a handful. But we have a couple larger pops to show off for you guys. And then that'll do it for today's vlog and collection haul. All right, so here are the last three pops in the collection. They are massive. And uh, this giant child right here, I'd say is borderline unnecessary. Look how massive his ears are. They take up so much space. Now, I agree this would be a killer out-of-box pop. It almost has to be an out-of-box pop because of just how massive this box is but we do have a 10 inch by what seems to be an 18 inch child it's not actually 18 inches across it just feels that way with his massive ear span but yeah that is the 10 inch child we also have the target exclusive 10 inch toothless from how to train your dragon the hidden world and honestly i'm a huge star wars fan but if i had to choose a 10 inch pop i would definitely go with the toothless i just think the the dragon is really, really cool. A lot of details, and I love his green eyes. And then keeping it dragon themed from Harry Potter, we have Harry and Hermione and Ron. Ron's on there too. We got a couple 
These are almost like pocket pops riding a six inch pop on Gringotts Dragon here, which is a really cool one. So um, very interesting pieces. We don't normally get in a lot of oversized pops just because they're tough to ship and they take up a lot of space, but we got in three and that's gonna do it for the collection guys. I'll see you back in the chair in just a sec. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for this week's Funko Vlog and our $4,000 collection haul that came in this past weekend. If there is anything that you guys see in the collection that you would like, if you are a channel member or a patron, as a perk, you guys get first dibs at anything you saw in today's video with the exception of Sailor Mercury. Joanna's gonna be keeping that, but everything else is fair game. It is first come first serve. So please shoot us a message within the next 24 hours. So before 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. And then uh, our auction of course is at 7 p.m. Eastern Monday night, which is tomorrow night. Guys, let me know down in the comment section below which pop was your favorite if you had to pick one. And uh, of course, if you guys have not subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. It helps out the channel. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. And as of right now, our 10,000 subscriber celebration live stream is tentatively for August 19th, which is a Friday. We already posted up that stream. So if you want to bookmark it or set a notification reminder so you don't miss out on all the festivities and of course the giveaways, make sure to do so. Guys, we got a lot of big stuff coming up on the horizon this week. So make sure you are tuned in with those notifications on. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see more vlogs and hauls like this. And uh, with that being said, have a great weekend and don't stop shooting until you score.